Hey friends, Jason from Fiddlehead here. Here's a little lesson on how to use the Strum Machine app as a metronome. A lot of my students struggle with being able to use the metronome. It's very counterintuitive. And, but I think that using this app, which emulates a guitar and bass and like having a band back you up, might be a good way to improve your skills and improve like technical stuff, bowing patterns, maybe if you're picking or playing guitar, get better at technical stuff and have a better time at it. It's the big point of the lesson is that uh, normal metronome is quite dry. And I actually like the normal metronome. There's something simple about it, but playing with a backing track might be the thing that really helps you to improve your timing, okay? So the app is usually used for playing backup for songs. So this lesson is going to just show you how to use it as a metronome to practice more technical stuff. So here we are. I've created a song and strum machine with the creative title of Scales in Standard Time. We're going to start very simply. So we're going to use the looping feature. In case you're not aware of that, you just select a bar and then in strum machine it will loop that bar. So now I'm going to press play. Oh, my auto speed up is turned on. I'm going to disable that for now because later I'm going to do that and show that to you guys. I'm going to simply play a D major scale and play it with some different variations at a, this comfortable tempo of 60 beats per minute. Two, one, two, ready, go. I have a little page set up. I can do any of the, these are all the kind of the major scales used in fiddle music. Now I can do my G major scale a little bit. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what rhythm that was I was just playing. And you can also use it to practice really technical stuff and maybe have a better time at it. I'm going to go back to looping D and do, I've been doing this string crossing pattern, which is slurring across strings, but slurring three and separate one. So it's a little odd. And so I'm going to practice this somewhat dry thing with a strum machine just to make it a little bit more fun. Oh, All right, and so now I'm going to try to speed that up gradually. So a quick note about the timing and time signatures and stuff like that. For Strum Machine is, is written for 2 over 2, which is cut time. So basically where it's this 60 BPM means 60 half notes per minute. So I tend to think in quarter notes, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. If this were going, this bar were going, it'd be quarter notes for me. But Strum Machine is thinking half note, half note half note and that's where we get the 60 beats per minute so that's just a, a kind of a theoretical note for those of you who are interested you don't really need to know that you just find a way to play your scales at this but it's helpful so and now what I'm going to do is practice that bowing thing and slowly speed it up so I'm going to speed it by one bpm to my mind that's two because I think in quarter notes and then I think that's it ready to go going to loop on this it'll slowly speed up and then I'm going to work to a point in which I find that I'm starting to not be able to do it a little unstable and then that will be my edge and then I know for today that's about where the fastest I got maybe I'll be able to work it a little faster than that here we go two one two three four
fastest. I think it went a little past my edge. So I'm going to say my fastest is 77. Okay. And so now I'm going to try to do it a little bit more there. I forgot to set the loop feature. So you get a really strange chord progression if you follow this without. Anyway, I dare any, I want I dare you to write a song using this chord progression. It's, it's probably never been done before. I guarantee it. How do you know? So we'll see. All right. So anyway, so I found my edge. I might write it in a practice journal. 77 was the fastest I could do it. Or I would have written one. I have to do some higher math. 160, 150, <laughs> 152 maybe. 154, 154. Anyhow, I think so pulling back to a bigger view. So the strum machine, you can use it on any scale, any bowing pattern. And you can also use it for any song you're doing. And so it's worth just pointing that out re really quickly. This is what Strum Machine was designed for, which is songs. And you can just practice my song with it. But what's cool is you can use the same things I was showing you uh, before in whatever song you're working on. So the song is in F. Maybe I just want to practice my F major scale before starting the song. Or maybe I want to start slower. So I just play half that, half cut time. Anyway, so hopefully those are some useful ideas for you guys in using Strong Machine and to make your timing practice more fun. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.